Welcome back, everybody. Before you light that first cozy fire of the season, ask yourself this. When was the last time you had somebody take a look up inside that chimney? Gunky buildup and cracks can be a very serious fire hazard. So if it's been a little while since you've had your chimney cleaned or inspected, don't worry. We know the perfect guy for the job. James Anderson is a man of many talents. He built his own home from the ground up complete with in-ground pool, outdoor living space, fenced-in backyard, and beautiful landscaping. He also built another home in the same neighborhood, laid every shingle on his neighbor's roof, even installed his neighbor's beautiful copper gutters and downspouts. Now, James has appeared live on the Great Day set many, many times, but it's such a beautiful day today, we thought we would flip the script. We are visiting James at his beautiful home. Come on, let's take a look around. In his finished lower level, his custom-built entertainment center caught my eye. So did this pallet wall archway. There really isn't much that James can't do. That said, his focus is fireplaces and chimneys. His company, Approved Home Improvements, designs and installs just about any style of fireplace you can imagine. You know, Matt, a lot of times we talk about the tuck pointing and, what, and what's on the outside of the chimney, but today we're gonna talk about what's inside the chimney and the hidden hazards and, and how it should be inspected to make sure it's safe. A quick check reveals some troubling issues. From the top of the chimney, you can see cracks in the flue tiles. This can lead to fires in the flue, which, if this chimney were attached to a home, could spread quickly. Those cracks need to be sealed, but accessing this tiny space isn't easy. That's why James and his team use these ingenious foam forms. They're built to match the exact dimensions of your flue. Using a winch from above and rope from below, the team moves the form into position, plugging the chimney like you might plug your bathtub drain. Then a sealant called heat shield is poured down the flue on top of the form. Now this is where the magic happens. Slowly, with the winch clicking away, the form is pulled back up the flue. As it moves upward, it acts almost like a four-sided foam paintbrush, coating the flue with sealant. Just look at the difference. The heat shield mixture, which expands and dries hard as a rock, has sealed those cracks completely. See this? Yep. But James and his team aren't finished yet. In this lower part of the chimney, called the smoke shelf, you can see gaps and holes in the bricks. The smoke shelf is usually rough and jagged and has holes yep. in it. Yep, we can see that, that in this one. And that collects the soot, which is fuel. Fuel for a dangerous chimney fire. But James has a fix for this too. He fills a hopper with more of the heat shield mixture and uses a sprayer to shoot the sealant directly onto the bricks. Once again, the transformation is amazing and the heat shield will protect the inner lining of your chimney up to 3,000 degrees. This is not a do-it-yourself project. It takes an expert to diagnose and repair these kinds of problems. When we come out and look at your chimney, you might go, that just looks like dirt or soot. And we're gonna go, that's third degree creosote. You've had a flu fire. You just think it just needs to be clean, but it's really sure. an extreme yeah. fire hazard. So before we get too deep into fireplace season, give James and his crew a call. Telling you whatever you need from a simple chimney sweep to some serious chimney repair. Call Approved Home Improvements. They'll take care of it for you. 314-780-6080. This James Anderson guy, he knows his stuff. Literally built that house and the pool behind it and the deck and the fireplace himself. Yep. Just that kind of guy. He's he got that the gift. kind of guy. Yep. Thank you, Matthew.